Understanding the Pangs of Jealousy Hello and welcome! In today's video, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, pangs of jealousy. This phrase might sound a bit dramatic, but it's quite commonly used in English-speaking cultures. We'll explore what this phrase means, how to use it, and even look at some examples to help you understand it fully. So, let's get started. The phrase, pangs of jealousy, combines two interesting words, pangs, which refers to sudden, sharp feelings, often of pain or distress, and jealousy, which is the feeling of being envious of someone else's achievements or possessions. When put together, pangs of jealousy describes those intense, often painful feelings of envy and desire that can suddenly strike a person when they see someone else having what they want but do not have. Pangs of jealousy is used to describe a deep, often painful emotional response. It's important to note that this phrase has a somewhat negative connotation. You might use it in a sentence like, when Maria saw her best friend with the latest smartphone, she felt pangs of jealousy. This phrase is versatile and can be used in both casual conversations and more formal literary contexts. To help you understand how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. Despite his success, he often felt pangs of jealousy towards his more famous colleagues. 2. She experienced pangs of jealousy every time her cousin was praised for her artistic talent. 3. The pangs of jealousy he felt when he saw them together were unexpected and intense. These examples show that the phrase can describe a range of situations where someone feels envious or less fortunate than others. Pangs of jealousy is a powerful phrase that vividly describes the intense feelings of envy one can experience. Remember, while it's a common and natural emotion, it's also important to recognize and address these feelings constructively. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing phrase and helps you use it confidently in your conversations or writings. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.